My name's Guy Kesteven, and for the past 20 years, I've been lucky enough to professionally test the best bikes in the world. And today, I'm going to talk you through the bike that I have absolutely the most fun on of any of them. And pretty much the only bike I actually own. Because that's the Nikolai Custom Tandem that I ride and race with my daughter, Freya. This is a full custom machine from German Uber welding specialist Nikolai. It won't cheap and you're going to have to wait a long time and be very persuasive to get one yourself, but these guys are the Ramstein of bike building. Full on German heavy metal. Vital statistics, head angle is 65 degrees with a 160mm Lyric fork in there at the moment. Uh, reach is about 450mm. Back end was made as long as possible because Freya's a lot longer than what she was when we first started. But first off, I mean, the bike's three years old now, so we had it built around a reverb, shortest extension, being just long enough for Frey. And you actually see where we used to run crank spaces when she first used to ride it. Uh, the back end is based on a Helios AM Nikolai, uh, 140 mm travel, but you got the ability to slightly change the shock rate there. It's a Fox coil on the back. We started with an air shock, it didn't last long. Same with the cranks, we started with carbon cranks, they died pretty damn quickly too. Uh, this is one of the innovations we made on the tandem, is actually we've got a 2 by system at the back, but the actual transmission is a one by. started off with one by 11 but just shifted up to a GX Eagle setup, just for those extra low ratios. And I have to say, it's been absolutely fabulous. Massive, great, heavy pitch, single speed timing chain on the front there, because this takes a lot of stress, not just from torque between the two of us, but also, obviously this is the lowest point of the bike and it hogs out pretty badly. We sump it quite a lot on rocks. You can see that bash guard's taking some bashes. Uh, you can see it is actually ported for a reverb at the front. Because the complication is running a stoker bar there, it gets pretty tricky. Uh, this is a really important piece on the tandem. Frey's Haribo stash. Up front, Truvative's finest, absolute nugget of a stem. Got a stem captain clock on there. The absolutely essential ride for Charlie sticker. Eagle shifter, rental bars, rental grips. Hope brakes, just because they're so reliable. I'm trying to get the six pot, the new six pot out of them, but for the moment, it's just these four pot stoppers here, 200 mil rotors front and rear. I mean, the whole bike was built originally as a wheel test rig because I suddenly had a load of 650 wheels to test. The gratuitous Nikolai weld shot. I mean, look at the scaling on that. So there it is in all its glory, complete with engine, morale booster, nutritionist, motivational speaker. Not sure about nutritionist. Oh no, it's all about the nutrition, Freya. Uh, I mean, Freya. Everyone thinks I'm steering on the front. I'm just in charge of understeer. It's Freya who throws it flat through all the berms. And she's an absolute legend, not just hanging on. She is a major contribution to getting the bike around the course. And there's a lot of work going into that happening. So take a bow, Freya. You're awesome. <laughs> Dad's got the steering, but I've got the leaning. So I can pretty much make this bike go Lee. anywhere. And that's why we have the controls. Right. And right and hard right and hard left. Hard left. Gas, 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 gas. Drop. And gas, gas, gas means we just put all right. the power down. I really enjoy going to the back of the tandem. It's so good. A lot of people say I'm mental, and I am. I'm a bit loopy, I have to admit. But. Even sane people can ride tandems. They just will get more scared. Okay, so what's it like to ride a tandem on really technical courses? Well, the obvious aspect is the extra length. And the fact there's two of you. Hard left. Which means a lot more extra communication. It's a full custom build. But I've had tandems before. And the one mistake a lot of builders make is trying to keep them short and nimble when actually what you want is maximum stability. So this is a seriously long beast. It's nearly 1900 mil long wheelbase. 65 degree head angle. You know, this is a bike that wants to carry on straight on because it's all about the stoker turning it. I'm just in command of understeer on the front, trying to keep the front wheel on the trail. It's all about Freya keeping it length from side to side. 
Luckily, she's absolutely brilliant at it. She certainly saved our bacon a ton of times without I'm putting the power in just when it's needed. About 120 psi in the Lyric Fork. There's obviously a fair amount. Running four bottom out tokens just to get that progression in there. We really don't want it sinking too long on the braking because the last thing you want is going end over end on the tandem. I had an old one years back, about 20 years ago, built by a builder called Louis Calella. And I went over the top on that a few times. And it is horrific. It's a proper siege engine experience. So I really don't want to do that with prayers involved. Apart from that, it's just a bit like driving a long wheelbase van. You've got to take things a bit wider. Be prepared to clip a curb or two. And just make every corner as big as possible. I mean, there's some things you can't do, like super tight switchbacks. And a couple on the hard rock course that everyone asks us about every year. We never get around them. One year we will, one year. But if there's a bit of speed and space, we can just lock up the back end and slide it through. Because it drifts really, really well. As you expect from a bike that's nearly two meters long. Mavic D-Max Pro wheels. They've always run Mavics on the tandem. Just because the free hubs are so solid. And there's so much torque going through them. And now they're doing their own tyres. They're spot on as well. Claw on the front, the new 2.5 tyre. Quest XL on the back. Okay, we're tucking in. This is where the length of the wheelbase. Hopefully it really helps out with that stability. And I'm really glad I had it made slack. Chuck it in, Frey, chuck it in. It's going to be steep. Steep, 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 steep. Oh okay. Oh Ready to chuck it in. Here we go. Boom. Okay, flying out. Woo! Okay, round to the right, round to the right, round to the right. Up and hard left. Yes. Woo! That was your best corner ever, definitely. Whoa! Whoa! Gonna warn this, you swine! <laughs> right. Straight ahead! Gas, 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 gas! No, steady, hold it! We'll just let it run! Go, 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 go! Right! Left! Whoa! Woohoo! Nearly! Ha! All right! Yes! <laughs> Boom! That was a big save! <laughs> Nikolai's done an incredible job on this machine for us. It's taken some hammer over the years, it really has. And it just eats it up. Every time. Still on the original bearings. Vanilla DHX coil on the back. Taking the hits again. Tried my airshop to start with. We killed that. We killed the carbon cranks. This thing's heavy metal. Get through the rocks. Left off the drop. Woo! Hard right, hard right, hard right, hard right. Gas, 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 gas. Wow! Yeah. Yes! Ha! Freya, you're a legend. Ha ha! And that's how you boss the tandem race.